Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Gonzalez, and I'm gonna be doing your literacy and music book today. That's because it's one of my favorites that I do. This is called Swimmy by Leo Leone. And he wrote this book about a fish. It's kind of a really good tale about working together. And also because it's one of my favorite songs called The Aquarium. The Aquarium is a song written by a composer, a French composer named Camille Saint-Saëns, and he wrote music he wrote a whole bunch of songs about animals called Carnival of the Animals. And this is one of the stories. Now you can guess aquarium would probably sound like fish, water, bubbles, the things that you'd hear in the water. So you can imagine that as I read the story of swimming to you, you can hear the sounds of the aquarium by Camille Saint-Saëns in the background. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters, and his name was Swimmy. One day, a tuna fish, swift and fierce and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed up all the little red fish, and only Swimmy escaped. He swam in the deep, wet world. He was scared and lonely and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures and he swam from marvel to marvel. Swimming was happy again. He saw a Medusa, a Medusa <laughs> made of, of rainbow jelly. A Medusa of rainbow jelly. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Strange fish pulled by invisible thread. And a forest of seaweed growing from sugar rock candy. And an eel whose tail is almost too far away to remember. And sea anemone looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. So Swimmy thought and thought and thought and suddenly said, I have it. We are all going to swim together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. When they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water and then in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. Yeah. Wasn't that a beautiful story? They learned how to work together. And one of my favorite songs, Aquarium by Camille Saison.